it's the crafty nana here now a few days ago i went shopping at the market and i bought some cheeses and then we went to cheddar and i bought some absolutely fabulous delicious cheddar mixed with rioja wine and caramel caramel caramelized caramelized onions red onions and it was really yummy so which sort of made me think right i'm going to get some rioja wine and i'm going to bring all these cheeses that i bought together and we're going to have a little cheese tasting so this is what it looks like pretty wonderful her so we got some french goat's cheese which is a very soft creamy one then we got some real stilton then we got some bath blue then we've got some somerset brie and then we've got a little bit of regular ch uh, ch cheddar here and then we've got the caramelized onion and rioja cheddar um, i've got some nice toasted seedy bread we've got some pickled onions which are absolutely de rigueur some olives and some branston chutney here we have a few some nice selection of meats and a nice little rioja wine here which is affordable which is absolutely affordable in this country so now we get to it the first one we're going to try is the sunset brie for a brie you don't want to put this in the fridge it wants to be runny and gooey and creamy and delicious um, sticking this in the fridge is a bit of a wicked thing to do um, it just spoils the whole way that the cheese is supposed to be so this one hasn't been put in the fridge um, it's very well wrapped up mind you now this came from the little market stall in Froome um, where we were the other day so you can see this is soft and squishy it could even be squishier than this it's lovely soft but it should literally be running out of the skin uh, some people don't like to eat the skin some people do it is a matter of choice so I've got some of this lovely crunchy bread here so this is a Somerset Brie now Brie normally comes from France but this is a homegrown version mmm That is really, really nice. It's creamy, flavorful, just delicious. Oh, it's so good. So I'm gonna pour myself a super song of the Rioja. Now this, was under four pounds 20, 20 ring it 20 ring it for a bottle of rioja smells quite full bodied and that's good now unfortunately room temperature here so is a little bit colder than this wine should really be served at it really needs to be warmed up a little bit um one could sit with one's hands wrapped around it and bring the temperature up a little bit just to improve it a little bit because at the moment it's just a little bit chilled um, and obviously some people like their red wine chilled but I think especially with cheese you want a nice room temperature and by that I mean definitely warmer than this room but that's nice so now I'm going to try the bath blue so this is not as um, quite as rich as a Stilton, but it's a lot less sharp than Danish blue. It has a much creamier, softer back tone. A very nice cheese. Mm. Here's to the local cheese makers. Mm. 
for comparison, a little bit of the real thing, real Stilton. So I wish I was um, organised enough that I could actually go be filming going up and going down and all that between me and... <laughs> so you're just not watching my face, but never mind. You have to manage. Okay. So now a piece of real English Stilton. And unless you... Don't presume all blue cheeses are the same. And the, 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 the cheap blue cheeses that we get just don't compare to a real Stilton. It's such a deep, rich cheese. And the sharpness of the blue that you get in Danish blue just isn't there. But the background flavour is so deep. So it's such a rich, rich flavour. And of course, in the olden days, a gentleman would have their Stilton with their port in the evening after their dinner. The two go very well. That little bit of sweetness and richness of the port to blend with the strength and the sharpness of the, of the Stilton. But me, I will make do with a little bit of rather chilled Rioja. Mm. So good. Next one is this. Now, I've cheated a bit because obviously I've already tried this one. And I have to say, perfectly happy to try it again. It was bloody delicious. So this is the caramelised caramelized onion and Rioja cheddar made by the Cheshire, was it, yes, the Cheshire Cheese Company. Um, so good absolutely delicious fruity slightly sweet and yet very savory it's a good mature cheddar it's not a young cheddar it has a really good depth of flavor so tasty Anyone who thinks cheese is just the slices or the squeezy spread that you get all over your American burger really needs to travel and taste some local cheeses because the variety is incredible, the tastes are fantastic. Um, there's so much good cheese out there and, and we're lucky. Um, one, we have France next door and two we have our own cheese makers now making a fantastic selection of cheese anyway i will get on with my food now and just enjoy it without you watching me <laughs> okay that's goodbye from me now because i'm going to just quietly get on with enjoying my olives and pickled onions and cheese and, and meat and, and drink my red wine and thoroughly enjoy it without you watching <laughs> bye for now